Oh, hi everyone. How are you doing? This is the second time that we actually beat Cthulhu. So I thought I would just walk you guys through how we did it and I thought I'd give you a few tips. Initially, one of the things I did is I gave away some nature or greater nature protection pots and shadow pots to anyone who wanted them. Making sure everyone has them is, is quite important. As you guys can see, we're sort of running in now. And, you know, we actually had um, a diagram which kind of said where everyone should stand, but I kind of got the diagram upside down, which is really stupid. So I'm currently going to the position I think I'm meant to be in. And then I, I suddenly realise, oh my gosh, I'm in the wrong position. I'm meant to be between the diamond and the X. So, um, yeah, I got the diagram upside down, but now I'm in the right position. <laughs> and as you can see... person sort of ran backwards when the eye was targeting them and it literally just obliterated them so anyway typically we'll either call out clockwise or anti-clockwise and then we'll start moving in that direction and as you can see the laser beam is uh, moving away from me and everyone's trying to avoid it as much as possible also everyone's taking out the things that pop up as quickly as possible Anyway, if you start at one side of the uh, clock, as it were, then you should kind of move around to the other side, basically. Another thing that we are using here is, you may notice I've got a range check, which is checking how far I am away from everyone. And uh, this is part of Deadly Boss Mod. Now here's the thing, in the first phase, which is this phase, Gafoon, the big eyeball in front of us, will shoot a... Um, a laser beam right and he'll it won't do much damage initially but if it bounces to someone else then it will cause that person damage and then it will try to bounce to another person and if a whole raid was standing together then one laser beam could actually wipe everyone so this is So, uh, yeah, I'm back at the first position. Most important to note for the boss is almost immune to damage. You may notice I'm only doing three or five damage here. And, uh, okay, so what's going to happen is the boss is going to turn purple. And at that point, the boss will be vulnerable to attacks. Now, how you turn it purple is someone will get sucked into the stomach of Cthulhu and there'll be two tendrils hanging down from the ceiling. You have to basically attack these tendrils and get them down and that will turn the boss purple. And then you can do a load of damage and then the boss will reset. I'm fairly sure at this point we're about halfway through. Still haven't done any damage on the second phase to the boss. If you get enough people through the first phase, then it, the second phase isn't too bad if you more or less know what you're doing. Um, like I say, nature protection po pots are really good and, you know, taking one 
at the start of the second phase is, again, not a bad idea in case you get sucked into the stomach. Cthulhu actually has a back, and you may know that if you attack something um, from behind, then it's more likely to hit, basically. So, yeah, we're all sort of getting back to the entrance and sort of attacking its bum, as it were. The symbols on people's heads, such as mine, signify which group we're in. The moon meant that, especially during the first phase, people could kind of line up near me and they'll sort of know that they should be near the moon. Uh, a really good visual indicator of where you guys want to be standing and again um we've got so many people up um from the first phase and a lot of people have our well bust still we're um you know really kicking Foon's butt here uh i i think this was a really good run for taking him down i say him i don't know if it's he or she probably a she <laughs> if i'm honest but uh, maybe it doesn't have a gender, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you don't take down the tendrils, then they'll end up wiping Ray, basically, because they'll just continuously shoot, and... I think when you have a lot of people alive, they'll shoot like, and it'll be a lot more dispersed basically. So, you know, staying 10 yards apart. And yes, it's got, I don't know, it's such a creepy creeper thing, isn't it? Look, we've taken it down. Oh my gosh, I was really quite elated because one of my um, BIS items was actually on. Um, the list for Cthoon. And I looked at that Dark Blade of Insanity thinking, gosh, look at it, 86 damage and uh, all those stats. Why did I have that on my BIS list? Because I probably would have won that. Uh, I know. Mm -hmm. 